Hey guys, welcome to Max Tech, and this right here is the world's most powerful laptop for gaming. It's the Razer Blade Studio Edition. And in this video, we're gonna play Call of Duty Modern Warfare at 4K resolution to see how much FPS we can get. And we're also gonna hook this up to Apple's 6K Pro Display XDR and actually play at 6K resolution, which is insane because it's two and a half times harder to run than 4K. This laptop right here actually got a higher score in Unigen's Heaven Gaming Benchmark than our $15,000 Mac Pro with the Vega 2 graphics. Now this laptop's meant for studio work like video editing or graphics rendering, but who says we can't enjoy some games on it? So let's get right into it. All right guys, here we are in the graphics settings. We can see full screen, Quadro RTX 5000. We've got the render resolution at 4K right there. The frame rate limit is set to 250 right there. NVIDIA highlights is off. Our texture resolutions, we've got everything right there on high. And a bunch of these extra settings are on, like the shadow map resolution is on extra. Ultra for the particle lighting. Anti-aliasing is on. These are pretty high settings, so we might have to tone them down a little bit because it's a lot for 4K. So let's go ahead and try it out. These fans are definitely kicking up. You guys can probably hear them but it's actually a lot of graphics power in this thing. Getting around 50 FPS on average. Woo! Got him. Got that guy. Ooh, that was close. So 50 FPS at 4K with a lot of the settings very high, it's pretty impressive. Barely got that dude. Ooh, that guy was running. Oh! Did you guys see that? Oh man. Got him. It's not too bad. Okay, so average around 50 FPS. It's actually pretty consistent. Let's turn down the settings and see if we can get 60 at a minimum. Back in the graphics, let's turn the shadows to normal. SSR, we'll just go normal. We'll turn off the anti-aliasing because honestly we're at 4K resolution. It's gonna look fine. Turn the textures down to normal right here. And let's apply. All right, now we got a daytime map right here. Playing some Team Deathmatch. And we're at 72 FPS right here, look at that. I'm seeing occasional dips, sometimes drops to 54. But overall, it's decent. Got one guy right there. Mostly staying above 60, but it does drop a little bit sometimes. All right, I saw a guy right here. Got him. So what I'm gonna do now is turn down a couple of the other settings down a little bit lower. So I just noticed that particle lighting is still at ultra. I'm gonna set it to normal, and let's see if we can get a little bit more FPS. All right, so now I'm seeing 75, 77, 78, 84. Yeah, not bad. I'm getting pretty good FPS right now. Got him. Oh, almost had that guy. Oh. Now, obviously, everything looks absolutely excellent at this resolution. It looks great. Getting pretty good FPS. I haven't seen it drop down below 60 at all. Now that we turn that last setting off. Got that guy. Got him. Got him. Seeing 78 FPS, 80 FPS. It's kind of insane we're getting this much at 4K on a laptop. Got him. No! <laughs> what am I supposed to do in that situation, man? Got him. Come on, bro. What'd you think? There you go, guys. Getting excellent FPS at 4K. This is insane for a laptop. Oh! Now before we hook up that Pro Display XDR and play at 6K, we're actually gonna turn it down to around 1440p, around 2.5K, that's 2560 by 1600 because the scaling isn't perfect. All right, so here we are at around 2.5K. Look at that, we're getting 130 FPS. 146. 
Nice. Woo, gotcha. Got him. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> All right, I'm actually gonna turn up everything as high as I possibly can. Let's see, 199, 88 FPS. Getting excellent FPS with everything turned on at 2.5K. Let me add one more thing. Where is this at? Direct X ray tracing. Let's see how this goes. Wow, look at that. 60 FPS right there, 70 FPS. Staying above 60 as far as I can tell. Behind you, bro. Now with that, let's connect it to the Pro Display XDR. Oh man. And here it is all set up. I got the laptop in clamshell mode. I got a Bluetooth mouse keyboard. And right there you can see 6016 by 3384. So now that we've got a resolution set to 6K right there, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down a lot of these settings. Let's go normal on these guys. Turn some of this off, shadow maps. Normal, particle lighting, normal. Turn off these shadows. Turn off ray tracing, definitely. Turn this off. All right, here we are. Everything looks insane. It is so detailed right now with 6K resolution. It's crazy. We're at about 35 FPS. What, this guy just ran past me. All right, bro. Boom. So we're at around 35 FPS. Got him. You've got to remember that 6K is two and a half times harder than 4K. It is a ton of pixels. So 35 FPS actually isn't that bad. What is this? Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, this is definitely not a good gaming experience. There's quite a bit of motion blur because I'm just not getting enough frames. Got him! What's up bro? Aw, oh, come on. Alright, back in the graphics settings, let's turn this down to 5K to see if we can get 60 FPS. So it actually didn't go up by much, we're sitting around 46, 45 FPS. It's definitely not much more. Oh, I'm so lucky I got that dude. Oh, that triple kill! Oh, come on, that guy just ran past me right there. Yes, finally. <laughs> nice. Brain break. Woo! Got him. You know what? Let's play at 4K with this awesome display. See if we can get above 60 FPS again. Oh, come on, bro. Yeah, got him. All right, so right now we're getting about 80 FPS, but it does dip down quite often. Now, the reason we're getting less FPS with this display is because it does take some graphics power to connect and power this crazy display. Woo -hoo -hoo! You thought you had me, bro? What about you? You too! Oh, he knifed me. Got him. Yes! Gotcha. All right guys, there you have it. That was four, five, and six K gaming on the Razer Blade Studio Edition with the Pro Display XDR. Now I know we weren't able to get good frame rates at 6K, but honestly, what machine can? We are able to get a consistent over 60 FPS at 4K, which is really, really good for this laptop. Now if you guys are curious about the different specs and pricing, on this laptop, we'll have some links down in the video description below. And if you haven't yet seen our review of this laptop or a comparison to the 16 inch MacBook Pro, you guys will find those videos right over there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, click that circle above to do so right now. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.